All right, great, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to have ourselves a happy little lecture that we are going to be covering the opening on. Now, I'm not covering a specific opening today. I'm not going to be doing like a lecture devoted to the Chinese, though I'm sure some of you would appreciate that, or the Kobayashi or things like that. We're just we're just going to talk about opening theory in general, and we're going to talk about it at uh, three different ish kind of bundles of ranks. Like, double-digit Qs, around 10Q to 13Q-ish. And some of the mistakes that they tend to make uh, throughout their opening, and why they are mistakes. We're going to look at some games around 5Q, and some of the opening mistakes that they make in their games, and why they are mistakes as well. And lastly, we are going to round out the evening by looking at some Don level games. All of these are, of course, uh, courtesy of KGS. And the unsuspecting players who are currently playing right now that have involuntarily decided to allow our, their games to be used in my lecture today. So, thank you unsuspecting people. I appreciate it. Let's see, that said, let's look at the game. What do we have here? We've got active games. Start with the DDK. Hard to find DDKs on KGS, actually. Uh, right now you can't see it because I'm blocking the screen. But I'm only seeing a very small handful of DDKs currently playing a game. However, I do see a 9Q, 10Q game. So we are going to just kind of uh, quietly sneak on into that one. Ever, ever so quietly. Ever so quietly. Then we're going to clone the game. Ever so quietly. And then if everything went according to plan... I see that it didn't. There we go. So we have a 9Q, 10Q game. And we've got reverb. Go away, reverb. So what we're doing now is trying to see how they break opening theory and why it's bad for them to do such things. All right, I agree with both of them. Starting off with who cares openings, 4-4 versus 4-4, four, 3-4. Four, four. Nice, flexible on both. Approaching high, I'm still on the side of the DDK. Approaching high means maybe we play uh, for influence. How do we know we want to play potentially for influence over something, let's say, like the low for maybe more of a territorial game? Well, we can look at the 4-4 four, four stone here. 4-4 four, four stone here. Realize we're tying everything together. We're being consistent. Awesome. Then we get into this. Now this is not so good. And I will tell you why. This is a kick, right? We respond. No, we didn't. Okay. If we respond, this is the exact same thing as if we approached and then we kicked. And then we what? Back off? But we would never do something like that because this gives our opponent an amazing base. We kicked our opponent. We made our opponent stronger. We didn't put pressure on him. We just kicked him, made him as strong as we possibly could. And then that was the end of that. The only way you could make your opponent stronger is if you just like, didn't mean to click that, is if you just like flop on top of your opponent like this, and then you just give them like all of these forcing moves. So like you just keep hugging them until they have like the perfect base imaginable. Like, okay, I now you're strong. Now that you're nice and strong, tell you what, I'll even give you Sente. Like, that's the only way you can make them stronger. All right, maybe we could also lean here to make certain there's like no invasion points or anything, and then give them sente. Like that's the only way you can make your opponent stronger. So, both of these, uh, not good. Now, interestingly enough, that was from the single digit Q. That's the nine Q, not the ten Q that made that mistake. However, then we get then we get weird and greedy. Like no. Take yes for an answer. If your opponent's making you stronger at the beginning of the game, be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go with that. My opponent wants to make me stronger. That's fine. Here's how a move like this is found. I think black opened for influence. Black approached for influence. So in the back of his head, he's thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping everything nice and connected. We're being nice and solid. Being nice and consistent. I'm playing for influence. My opponent played here. Oh my god, what do I do? 
well, I want the influence, right? So, he wanted the influence, so he's playing here because he's trying to be consistent and make all this work together. But instead, he should have just took yes for an answer. Okay, that still actually is there. So that was a mistake. Small mistake, but a, but a mistake. Let's see if we find any other ones. Okay. Um, Hane, the head of two and three stones, proverbial. We don't want that to happen, so we're going to play here next. He didn't. What do you do? Follow his opponent down. Now there's a cutting point here. Or there's like double Hane. So again, proverbial. Very, very basic. If we had played this move, at worst, your opponent can make you stronger. And then, once again, we take yes for an answer. We just take yes for an answer. Do you want to be stronger? Yeah. Absolutely, I want to be stronger. How long do you want me to be stronger for? I mean, I can keep doing this all day. You want me, you want me to keep getting third line territory while you keep crawling on second line? That's fine. I'll extend across the board if I have to. I'm good with it. White plays here because he's scaredy pants. He's afraid of this cut. But if we read a little bit, push down, then what? <sighs> three liberties to three, three liberties to three. I win that one. I win that, absolutely. So all I have to do is just like extend or honey, anything else, and then we're fine. Same thing here. We can push. Don't want to let them cut him ahead of two. Don't let him cut or honey ahead of three. So we'll do this. Do something like this. Maybe he jumps now. And then we can just use this as influence. Awesome, profit, nice, solid, consistent. But he's Hane. Hane says, I want to surround you. Hane says, I want to fight you. We don't want to fight. We have cool wall here. We got like so much open board. We don't want to fight here right now. There's no reason to. All right, now we're back on track. Now we're back on track. Getting that influence. All right, that's not bad. I like not playing symmetrically. That's so why I don't want to just go around taking all the star points. I'd maybe throw in a, large, uh, a knight somewhere. That way you can't just like play half dead. Thinking, okay, well I can approach here. I can approach here. I can approach here. I can approach here. I can 3-3 three, three here. I can 3-3 three, three here. You know, whatever. You have to like, kind of think like, oh, well, that, I can't really do that. It's like an enclosure. What do I, what do, I do there? Or like maybe... Mix things up and throw in here to go with your wall. See if they know how to dive back in here. It's like keep keep them thinking, you know, keep them thinking, keep them on their toes. All right, not all right. I would three three that. It's not influential, but it hits the heart of this little uh, framework they're trying to get get build. Because they're gonna block you this way, right? And then you invade Incente. They didn't really pick up anything new. We can still come in from here. Can still come in from here. They got this, but we got that, so... It's all good. Tengen, not the largest move. Mm. Kick when pincered, basic. Ah, look at it. it doesn't. He's not aiding. He's not aiding his pincering stone. He's forgetting all about it. And he's inviting the attachment. Like, imagine this right now. Like, weren't. Weren't we, like, the kings of the influence here? We got Tengen and everything. But because we gave our opponent stones to attach to? Complete turnaround. Now, this has to live. But then what happened to this? Does that get cut off too? can see why 10 again is such a crappy move. So you can see a bunch of direction of play problems. Bunch of direction of play problems. 
right? And Proverbs being broken, like not ignoring shoulder hits and things like that against your stone. Like if you play here, maybe your opponent has to keep trying to not be a dead man. And while they're doing that, you're getting stronger. Instead, this might turn into a nice, easy, secure base, and you'll never be able to pro attack it ever again. Never play that move, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Not something that you want to see in your games. But you can see some DDK mistakes. This poor guy kind of knew what he was doing. Yeah, so now we're kind of getting into these weird fights. But here's the question. Who's going to be the first person to profit? This area is still really, really big. All both players have to do right now, all both players have to do right now, is find out where the largest thing on the board is right now, and get Sente to play there. They should be fighting not to kill stones. They should be fighting for Sente. And right now, White could say, those two stones ain't doing jack, son. I'm going to come in here now. Make sure this isn't large anymore. But instead, we're defending the small thing. We're still attacking and defending small things. The entire top of the board is like, dude, what about me? I'm big. What about me? What about the enclosure? I'll, I'll be big. Just give me a chance, man. Give me a chance, coach. I can do it. Give me a chance. Not giving them a chance. They're kind of fighting. Nope, 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 nope. Finally. So we get all the way over to here before we do that. Which means like this in... Whoa. Which means this entire section of the board right now was cluttered uselessly before we played the large move. We got white versus black, five versus five. Okay, special move, but that's fine. Orthodox, good so far. Okay. White says that he wants influence. Lots of influence. He said it with this move. And he said it with that move. It's completely fine. It's completely fine. All we have to do? Make it hard for this area to build. Almost. I almost like this. I almost like it, but not quite. I, I almost like this. I almost like this. But I think we're a little bit too tight. Look how tight we are against that corner. Oof. Oof, we're so close. I mean, do we have to play here again? I mean, oh man, that's uh, tight. That, that, that's, that's a tight position. Maybe play here instead. That way we got some breathing room. You know, a little bit of breathing room. But whatever. I would absolutely follow up. White's building an area here. We're in the middle of that area. Make no mistake, this is kind of sort of an invasion-y uh, dealio kind of thing. And our opponent ignored it. Follow it up. Follow it up. We want Sente. If we lose Sente here, we're going to be sad. All right, that's crazy. No, 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 no. Take yes for an answer. We're, we're strong. We can actually play here right now and be happy. We can even play here and be happy. It doesn't really matter what we play. This is greedy because then it leaves the it leaves that behind. What is Okay. Okay. So here's the thing with this with this game. This is 5k versus 5k. This is 5 versus 5k. 
And again, Black is kind of not taking yes for an answer. Like, he could just be like, I I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kill those stones now. Instead, he's like, I, you know, I could just kill those stones, but I'm gonna kill those stones in a way that make you stronger. It's like, what? This, this helps the two stones. You attach, attaching to the one stone helps it. Right? All right. Um, I'm, I've come to the conclusion this is not this is not uh, a game that we want to review. What well, suffice it to say, when do when do you respond here? Okay, yeah. Uh, this is this is dead. We should be playing over here again. I like. I like. Again, same thing. Follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. One stone? Is it really big? Really? I like. I don't like. We're getting greedy despite the fact that we're massively ahead right now. Fix your shapes. There's no reason. If you play here and your opponent plays here... You get Sente to play somewhere else. You can play here again. You can go into the corner. You're nice and strong here. We can do whatever we want. This says, I'm going to give you a chance to get back in the game. Because like the double GQ, we're not respecting those, cutting, those uh, cutting points. No respect for the cutting points. Now we can break this into two different groups. And suddenly we have a chance to profit. We might be able to eke out some profit from whatever acid we were on in the lower right hand corner. And there was no call for that at all. There was no reason to invite that. Just zero. Make yourself nice and strong in the middle of your opponent's invasion so it can't frack with you later on in the game. You do that, you're good. You do that, you're, you're, you're great. You're awesome. You're styling. Now, enough of this game, because I don't think this really qualifies for a really good game. So, let's look at another 5Q game. Alright, so we have a 5Q and a 4Q game. It's far along. You can't see it, because it's not, it's not caught into the game for some reason. Now it is. Alright, looking for mistakes and opening. This is not a mistake. This is just something you're trying to do. Maybe he wants to play uh, low approaches more often. That's fine. Hey, sick willy. So you can approach high, you can approach low. It's fine, no matter what. Is you can you can do whatever. It's okay. High would be a little bit a little bit better. If, like if you saw that move and you thought you know three four, you know I need to work on my I need to work on my low approaches more. I would argue maybe do a three four point yourself, just to not have all high stones but okay sure whatever all right how do we respond here um too many options we can change directions and try to build we can just uh lean we can try and play a uh, aggressive game it's hard to say what we do here change directions all right if I was to change direction, I'd probably change direction something like this. See how often I can get my opponent to play there. Just go back into a build. Uh, magic sword, I think, is this what you're thinking of? Um, isn't like that the magic sword, Jaseki? Like, isn't it specifically this? Okay. All right. All right. It's peaceful so far. Okay. Opening. We want to play in the largest area. What's the largest area? Let's count it with me. We got one, two, three, four lines of territory that we can go to war over and get all pissy about. That's four lines right there. If we played over here, we get almost the exact same thing in Sente. 
potential, we can go over here. That's pretty big. Right? This is pretty big. So we got this one. We got this one. Because this is threatening, like, larger area. Even if we approached on the inside down here, also larger. If we played ten or not ten again, uh, Sanrin say ties it together much larger than this. And this kind of goes over back to uh, what someone t uh, was talking to this week, last week. Yeah, a new s patron of mine. He wanted some of his games reviewed. Wanted to know how to get better. I asked him, all right, what, what do you think's going on, what, going wrong in your game? I haven't seen his games yet. Um, he's about this little level too, I guess. He says, well, I, I'm a, I like building. I'm an influential player. Um, I, I, I just like growing, but things just don't go well. I'm like, all right, I'll take a look at your game. And yeah, same, sure enough, this, this is not influential. This is, I'm going to rip your face off and wear it as a funny hat. This is, you don't get anything. I'm going to invade everything you do. I'm just going to get up in your face. This is this is the opposite of being peaceful and calm and buildy and stuff. This is, this is rabid. This is rabid. I like white. Surrounded. Like, yeah, live, whatever, dude. I don't care. I'm just going to profit off your corpse. Backed off. Oh my god, that's sexy. He didn't be, he didn't go here and... Start thinking like, well, what happens when I do this? And can I like bring this out? Who even knows? No, no, no. You're just like, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna pull back. I don't care. Live. Yep. Second line. Keep running. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Now he ran too far, because at this point he's alive. But whatever. Now he's using the influence to do that. I like a bit pressury. I would contemplate growing the other side of the board though, and maybe eh, it's it's arguable because if he backs off here, then suddenly we have like build over here. We got build over here, and at no point does our opponent have an opportunity to play this because this is just Jesus Christ. That's that's actual build across. 13 lines of the board. Like, this area has to redu be reduced. Alright. He's using his influence to build. Trying to play fast. Slow. Building again. White's trying to, black's trying to get something done. Uh... Slightly gote. If we play away, is this really a thing? Mm. Nah, we can't really we can't really kill those stones, can we? So this is that's slightly a gote move. Slightly a gote move. Slightly, yeah. We could have played over here, maybe. Could have played over here. You know, wherever. If this gets Atari, we'll just let it go. Those stones never bothered you anyway. All right, so we see the five Q compared to the four Q. The five Q's got um, a really, really hindered whole board uh, viewpoint going on here. Like he really can't see how all of these stones are working together. Otherwise, he would never play this way. Just no, 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 no. Like my opponent plays there. Maybe I have Aji here, but first I'm gonna like get stones over here, right? We need to start reducing this area, but he doesn't really see the whole board. Doesn't really see the whole board. As a result, white just stays on target. I like the consistency for white. It's pretty Don like. Mm, shape issues, though. Shape issue. Shape's a problem. Shape's definitely a problem. We want to make nice, strong shape. This gives forcing moves away, which we don't like so much. We're not, we're not really happy about that. I mean, we can't cut through here right now. But the accent on that is right now. We can't cut through it. Can we cut through it later? Maybe. 
Can we kill stones because we had to do that? Maybe. Mm, not sure why we're responding. We're pretty good here. Can't cut. We could just be like, I'm profiting. I don't care what you're doing right now. I'm just gonna I'm just going for my profit. This stuff, like this part of the board, like over here, like forget forget this. Let's cover up that area. Forget that area. That part of the board, like way over there, that stuff right there is a lot larger than whatever these stones are doing. Are these stones alive? Yeah. Are these stones alive? Yeah. Then then what about what about over here? This is this is like much, much bigger. And yet and yet we're responding. So now we can get shape. Now we're in trouble. Oh my god, look at that. Look how much trouble we're in now. We can't keep we can't like keep growing this area now because we're gonna get, we're gonna get surrounded. We're under attack. No good. No good. But if we had played something like this, and our opponent went over here, it'd be like, um, yes, I do not care. Maybe we seal it. trying to kill he's not thinking about his stones he's not thinking about his stones like oh he's weak he's got weaknesses here but he's not thinking about it in fact maybe he sacrifices it maybe he sacrifices it maybe you trick your opponent because he's got to be careful right Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Maybe this becomes a strong area now. Shouldn't have been. But we were attacking to kill something and not for profit. Is this the right board? Yes, good. All right, we got five Q versus five Q again. Mm -hmm. Diagonal. So maybe territorial opening. That can so danger Will Robinson. That Jaseki is uh, not quite finished, is it there, sir? Might want to pull back on a base there. Alright, couple things we have a problem with now. Top Jaseki, not finished. Bottom Jaseki, not finished. Left, bizarre place. We're in a really bizarre place now. Because usually we either go all the way over and apply max pressure to a group like this. Or we're safe and make certain that we're good here. However, is this really the largest point on the board right now? Fundamentally speaking, is this really the largest point on the board right now? Hmm. No. No, it's not. We're failing to find the largest points on the board right now. Like, if, don't do it, but if we wanted to, but we're not, if we were going to play this way, which we won't, I would play here, but I'm not saying you should. I'd try to go for some kind of like in, some kind of uh, enclosure here to try to tie these things together. 
Like maybe this is an enclosure and this is my extension. And then maybe this is gonna be treated lightly and this is for influence. So that's that's my opening strategy. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie them together and play in the big points. But unfortunately, slow move. Very slow. This move says, you know what? Kill me. I don't care. Just kill me. You can pincer me here. You can pincer me there. You can make this. You can cut this off completely. That's fine too. Oh god. Chat, how dare you. Chat just pointed out this is kind of a nice bird picture. I kind of see it. I kind of see it. All right. Dangerous, but okay. Open corner. Oh, he got away with it. Ow. He played away. And now he gets to connect everything back together again. Ow. So the question we have to ask ourselves now is black. Where's the profit from him failing to finish his two Jiseki? That's the profit. If he had played here and our opponent played there, we would be getting more profit than what we played at, at uh, C18. Black, unfortunately, was too afraid to take his opponent's best move for his own. If you're not sure where to play, if you're not sure where, you're, where uh, the large point of the board is, you can also ask yourself, where, if I was my opponent, would I want to play? And you can play there first. You can do this in the opening. You can do this in end game, mid game. Bats, does reviewing five games leave you with crippling depression? No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. So we can take our opponent's best move away right now, which is that extension. Take it for ourselves. If he ignores, come on. There we go. If he ignores, bam. If he comes out, bam. We're good, no matter what. All right. Let's redeem yourself, Black. Large point on the board. Large point on the board. Um, got to count. 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 One, two, three, four. Okay, got four there. Um, how about here. We've got, uh, I don't know, like five, six, seven, maybe eight, a bit four there too. But it's got, okay, 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 I got it. We've got, oh, come on. Uh, we've got like the invasion here to go to war for these points. Got the jump here to defend and corner and invasion. This is a good move. This is a good move. Large point on the board. Why? Threatens a 3 3, threatens expansion. Threatens another invasion. We're doing three things with it. We're doing three things with it. So where does he play? Where does he play? All right, close, close. That was a, that was not a large point. I think it's a largest point, but it's a large one. Jumps away. Jumps away. Jumpu, jumpu, jumpu. If we're capped here, what do we do? I guess we can go here. So I guess we could leave. But again, largest point. Think about the largest points. Is the corner going to war against this? Is that the really largest point? Maybe not, right? Maybe not. 
Bam! F5 at C3, nit. No, we've got the three things that we were doing there on real mistake, right? Had the three things we were doing there. We were th we were threatening to ensure this never works ever again. We're threatening to come in here, and we're threatening to come in there. And our lovely little opponent has no say in these things. If we just do the 3-3, three, three, and we get injured, we could very well lose that stone. But if this is already here, then we're just like, okay, now what? Right? With the extra in the field, it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Not really caring quite so heavily, are we? Oh, sorry, one second. Um, there we go. Also, with the extra stone on the field. Bonk. Ew, yucky, yucky. We have to, like, defend this little thing. F5, D3. What? F5, D3? Yeah, we're going to defend here as white. White fixes all the issues in one move. I'm confuzzled. White still has an invasion here. Oh, you mean we wouldn't do this? Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't do this. This is this is this is silly. Well, okay, not silly. There's a couple of reasons why we might, but we wouldn't do it on this board because there's like so many things we get to do. I think that, I think that's what you're saying. If that's what you're saying. I'm totally on board. Never do this. You just uh, strengthen your opponent, and you don't actually help yourself. Like, check this out. Check this out. Oh, look. You still have to respond to it. If you're defending against peeps, you didn't defend against anything. Because that still goes through. Same thing here. Still goes through. So, that actually didn't do anything. This is ju this might as well just be a giant F. As in, holy F, we just failed. Don't leave cutting points behind, otherwise you'll be unfortunate. Bad's just curious, do you make money by streaming? That's a good question. What next? Um, that's painful. Owie. Connect. Alright, so that's the end of that. We're in the end of the end game. They're fighting now. Forget fighting. We're going to look at fighting mistakes next week. For now, we're looking at opening mistakes. Next week, fighting mistakes. There we go. So now we're back with a one Don versus one Don game. Of course, the names have been hidden to protect the guilty. Hey, Pistol Pete. Good night there, Quidden. Let's see what mistakes the down level players make in their opening. Uh, not a mistake. This is just weird. Okay, that's kind of weird too, but not a mistake. All right, we're enclosures. All right, we're making ourselves nice and strong here. I like it kind of, sort of, not really. What are we doing here? All right, so check this out. This is a weird thing that I'm going to say is not Shiseki. I'm also going to say we don't have any reason to play here as white. Because if we just defend, holy crap, we're solid. Holy crap, we're solid. And holy crap, there's still this behind. Holy crap. So we have to protect. If we're black, we can't play away from here right now. So it stands to reason that maybe 
you know, Black plays a move here or out. I don't know where. I don't. I don't care where. Just somewhere. And then we get Sentai. So he plays whatever. We get the enclosure and an extension and a corner. That seems pretty good, right? So the question is, when Black attached to you, Black saying, "I'm gonna fight." But White has to ask himself, what does he really want? What does he want? What does he really, really want? What does he want? What does he really, really want? He wants, he wants an extension from his enclosure. So let's look for a way to maybe get Sente. Turn here. Look at that, I got Sente. I'm good. Got, and got stuff down here, got stuff up there. Isn't that a Spice Girl song? Yes. Glad you got the reference. Same thing here. We could chill. Oh, we could so chill here. Be like, I don't care. You don't care. Eat me. And then later on, we could be like, hey, I heard you had an area here. Shame it got shrunk. Oh, hey, 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 about the area, about the area. Hey, check that out, check that out, look at that. Oh, look how, look how large that is. Yeah, that, that. shame. Shame, sucks to be you. But meanwhile, you're just going to be chilling there, counting your territory. It's going to be good times, it's going to be good times. Instead, this says that we don't have any idea what we want. I don't know, we want to cut. Why? I don't know, fuck, reasons, that's why. That's why we want to cut. For reasons, because we want to murder people and, I don't know, kill them. Painfully and horribly. See? Look at what we're doing here. And now we have to fight this crap. Ugh. Uh, okay, they pieced out. Hmm, is this really what they want? Because there's an enclosure. We could get a great extension. Hmm, hmm. Looks like we're still at Don level, potentially making small directional mistakes. Because now all Black wants to do is be like, dude, 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 I want, dude, I want, dude, I want, I want, dude, sente, dude, sente, sente, dude, look, because I, because, because, dude, extension, but not anymore, not anymore, not anymore. Instead, didn't know what he wanted, didn't know what he wanted, doesn't know where large point is, large point top of the board, man. Extension, enclosure, basic. I could pick up a 15Q book. They'll be like, yeah, extensions, enclosures are, like the, are freaking amazing, man. Don't let anyone get those things. That we're fighting. Why? I don't know. Because reasons, I guess. Keep men, I, I don't know. Possibly. What is what is all of this? I don't even know. We're trying to make this one back to life. Why? I have no idea. We get way more than enough. We got the bottom, we got the top, we can expand off it if you go to Sente again. Nothing. Nothing. Worth playing here because, I don't know, giggles. We're gonna get into a fight because, uh, I don't know, the eight ball told us to? Like, we're completely throwing all opening theory, like, under the bus, and just trying to stab each other. I mean, that, that could be good, I guess. Now, what did White profit from this attack? Did he get a living group? He got a bunch of dead stones. Is he strong now? No, no, this is still getting quite screwed. Not not doing so well, is it? Because we didn't really know what we were fighting for, did we? We already got what we wanted. We got this. We fought. 
And holy shabloinkies, we got to like build this area up. Oh my god. And then we get to extend. Dude. That is a good fight. If all of your fights go that way, you are going to be... You'll be beating AlphaGo. If, this, if that's how your fights go, you'll be beating AlphaGo. But instead we just do this and that and the thing over there and stuff, stuff. Uh, yeah, that too. And then we're just fighting out in the middle. Hmm. And we're still fighting. We still have the slightest idea what we're fighting over. This was a mistake. We could cut through here because that's dead as crap. But all right. Look at that. Oh, that corner is getting so hurt. And now we are driving our opponent into the area we could have had territory in. Oh, man, we could have had territory. Yeah, too late now, son. See, look at him. It's like, oh, dude, I just, oh, my God. I saw what I did. I saw what I did. That's bad. But now this is under attack. And that's under attack still. We're too late. Too late. Why are you fighting in the middle of the road? Exactly. I, I'd show that video again, but just like Mr. Miyagi said. If we go on top side, good. If we go in middle, squish. Just like grape. Got it. All right. All right, so we got two down versus two down here, right? That's fine, that's fine, fine, fine. Enclosure, because it's a diagonal opening. Cross Fuseki says territory, and that says territory. I like it. Approaching, making taking that territory away. Alrighty then. If we were going to play old style, we would probably play here, and then we do this. This. How do we do that? We don't just jump out. Oh, we do this, right. This, this, this. That was old school. This used to be played oh so many times. It's nice and basic too, though, to be honest. We've seen this in a lot of the old games that we've been going over uh, from back in the day. Back in Dosaku's era. Because it like gives you a wall, it leaves this sex little guy behind. It's like, how you doing? Right? Because we can't play this way. And that's a kind of like back up, which really hurts that corner. Mm. But all right, going on all in, that's okay. Approach, I like the probe move. It asks, can I build anything? But I don't like that move because then yeah, this is mm, this is a little awkward, isn't it? I would be looking to see if I can't maybe do something here. And then use this lightly. But that's okay. Whatever. Ignoring, despite the blatant say that I want to grow here. Hmm. What White wants to do now is pincer, is uh, get sente. So we can pincer this. We can we can get an attack here. This high move says I want to build. The ignore says uh, I I kind of want to build. Maybe look, it's not set in stone. I don't really know what I want to do there either. Got sente. Got a defense. Look, imagine that stone. If it was here, we completely change our mind about what we play. Because his moves are contradicting themselves, they look so much. It looks so strange now. Like right here, this would look pretty friggin' good, right? This wouldn't look bad. This wouldn't look bad at all. But he played high, so he's undercut, so now we're having second guesses. Because our, our stones like aren't really 
you know, continuing to say what they're supposed to say. Tudon versus Tudon. So as a result of this, yeah, yeah, like it's that. And now I believe we shouldn't play here. We need to make up this. This is this is this could be big. This could be big. So we should probably take a large area for ourselves. If white plays here, dude. Dude. If white plays here, we can still play here. We can play here. He can't he can't follow that move up. It's too small. He needs to play the largest area now, and that ain't it. Something about this, or something about this. That's what he needs to do now. On this board. He can't follow that move up, so it's not important. We don't care about it. It's too small. It's small stone. But no. Made him stronger. Gave away Sente. And now, if white gets this, black should be sad. Black should feel bad about himself. Black could have gotten a double wing from his enclosure. We opened up a 15Q opening book on like enclosure or something. They're going to go about how you should probably block double wings. Could have blocked it. Could have blocked it. Oh, time to feel sad. But we want to play high here, not low. Low, maybe we still feel good because we can grow the area. Maybe it's risk, but it's possible. I would rather just like, just not, 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 just not leave it there. I just don't want to worry about it. No shoulder hits. Again, we playing that small, are we, are we really playing the largest moves here? Really? What about the area over here? What about getting a forcing move in here? Someone's obsessed with small play. Yeah, that makes us feel bad. Here we can just be fine. Go back and play here later. So once again, small moves, man. How many times and how many different games have we seen people make mistakes because they're playing small moves? It's it, oh, it so comes up over and over and over again. That's why in the basic series, self promotion. That's why in the basic series, all we really do is concentrate on where those large moves are, because you can see through double digit Q to five Q, even a little, a little bit harder to see, but a little bit too uh, down level. It's kind of hard to find those lar those uh, largest moves. They make mistakes. Yet the game drastically changes depending on like who finds it. Because right now, this is a game where white can be kind of happy. This, on the other hand, is a game where, black, where white is a little bit afraid. Our corner's not secure. This stone's not dead. The left is completely open. This is turning into territory. Oh my god, that's still strong. We can't really attack it. Hyperventilating. What do we do next? What do we, do we invade? I don't know. Maybe? Yes? But then the left? I don't know. It's two down. It's two down versus the two down. Also, another reason why we wanted to play high here, so we can't be kept low. Low stones can be kept low. That's a big problem with playing low. Get me off the side of there. That's kind of weird. My shoulder going over like that. There we go. And then we get into Invasion. Um, mm, yeah. So I hope we have a better understanding of some of the uh, pitfalls that we find in uh, opening at various levels, whether you're DDK, Single digit Q around 5Q, maybe you're even hovering around 1 Don. As you improve, you're probably getting more and more frightened that, like, oh, my putt's gonna be making such better and better, better moves. I need to be careful. Uh, I need to play that much better myself. Maybe get 
tempted to back off when you maybe shouldn't. Does white win this game? Please say he does. I don't know. It's still ongoing, I think. Um, still ongoing. White's gonna die. White's a bit. White's in a bit of a bad way. Ooh, god. This isn't alive. White got himself in a bit of a bad way. He needs this a lot. He needs to kill this. It's all going to come down to this, unfortunately. Play here right now, Black. Play here and you're styling, bro. Because we can't get disconnected here, right? This is going to hurt too much. We can't block this. It's impossible. Something's dead. Something's dead. Does he play it? He's going through. Maybe he will. Anyway, that's the end of my lecture today. I'm going to finish watching this game, though, and see uh, how this turns out. And if Black sees his salvation, or if he's going to be... Oh, uh, I think he does. Anyway, next week we'll be going over uh, mid-game and look at some of the mistakes that people make at this level, at these levels, rather, in the mid-game. Because, again, even in the mid-game, we're still seeing some of the uh, small moves. Some small moves. Pretty small moves. Not going to lie. Oh, he sacrificed it. Okay. That's a big sacrifice. I got this is live now. Didn't have to be though, because I mean black's got this. Black's got this. Like see how all none of those are eyes? Even this isn't an eye yet. So all of those could lose their eyes, and then this group would have been fine. And now if he plays that, doesn't play it again. We've got to be very careful here. We can't do this as white. However much white wants to, we can't play this way. But we can hit it here. Come on, where are you? We can hit it here. And force a sacrifice to make this into an ugly corner. So we can do that. We can do that. So since those stones can't be killed, responding here again is kind of small. We should be thinking about, okay, where can we play now? Well, the corner is open. That 3-3 three, three is pretty big. Right? Got to back off on that one. What else could we do? Might even be able to play something like this first. Right? I don't know. Just randomly build a huge area in the middle. Either of these are much larger than potentially losing Sente here. If we lose Sente here, we're going to be pissed. That is suicidal. He just said he could live here no matter what, and I disagree that that's true. <laughs> and now we're in the middle where we could have profited. We could have profited. Could have been profits. We could have been profits. Yep. Yeah. Is he actually playing it? Is this, is this actual? It is actual. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Not looking so good for you there, Black. Not looking so good for you there, buddy. Not looking so good. Yeah. Ow. That that move probably causes physical pain. That kind of move we know we messed up. Big. Sente. Ouch. Ouch. We can't cut through. We got nothing. <laughs> Fiscal pain. Owie. Alright. I think we see how this game's gonna end. I feel it can't be 2D in KGS, even game, and 2D Foxy do 20Q moves all day. Um, probably true sometime, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said I was going to order pizza today, didn't I? I don't know. Do I, want a, do I want pizza or pasta tonight, chat, for dinner? What? I haven't fixed. I haven't ordered pizza in a while. Yeah, I feel like treating myself some pizza. Let's order some. Give me a Domino's. And this time, I am not ordering it on stream. I did it before. Oops. Sorry, we're here. We are here, right? This is the game? This is actual? Yes, this is actual. Uh, delivery. Street address. This one. City. This one. State. That one. This one. Sorry. I'm in this kind of a... Yeah. And then, yeah, 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 gotcha. Bum, 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 bum. All right, yes, 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 yes. Continue for delivery. All right, sort me, me a pizza. <laughs> 